Hello, Carl Sussman, Insurance Hour. We are back for our final segment. Listen, there has been a lot of really important information here. If you've missed any part of this show, jump online, go to insurancehour.com, get the links, go download the podcast, go on YouTube, find it there. You'll find it on Apple, on iTunes, you'll find it on iHeartMedia, you'll find it on your smart speakers, on TuneIn Radio, it's pretty much everywhere. Look for it, find it, because you wanna make sure you hear this entire conversation that I've had. Semi Manlaki, again, thank you so much for letting me be here and spend this time with you. It's been an amazing conversation. I want to take this last segment and talk about where you see this situation going at this point in California. Like you said, we can't ignore it anymore. We have to be honest with people. Where do, how, how do you think that might actually come to fruition? I can tell you right now, I believe that there's more mystery than there are uh, answers right now. And it's because there's a lot of hesitation to be factual. And once we start feeling comfortable with being factual and honest with people, we'll, we'll find a solution. We, we will find something that won't be comfortable for a lot of people, but it will be manageable. And that's what we need. And it's time. It really is time. The longer we wait and the longer we put this off. And the insurance commissioner needs not to make excuses. And he needs to come up with something. And if he needs help from the legislature, he needs help from the governor, he needs help from whoever he needs help from, he needs to come forward and be honest. This is, what, this is my problem, this is my proposal, and this is the help I need. That's what we need. That's what a leader does. And so we need some leadership here because we're very starving for uh, a solution. I could tell you that uh, I have people in my district that call every week. Every week we get calls, and they're catastrophic circumstances. Uh, some of these people's insurance rates have tripled. I, I see some of these increases here on, on a, a chart that talk about anywhere between uh, 20 and 30 percent. No, this is 300 percent, right? And that's not manageable. That's not reasonable, that term that I used earlier. We have to have something that's reasonable. And I think it's there, but we have to uh, be honest with people and we need to just... Uh, Rip the Band-Aid off, man. It, it's time. I like the analogy. It is, it is time. I think we've gotten to a point where there's nowhere left to go. We have carriers leaving. The few carriers that are left are charging rates that are not sustainable for consumers. What we have right now is clearly not working. We need, we need to make some changes. It, there's a lot of misinformation that's going around. And some of the groups that uh, may have personal interests in it, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of history, they want to stay relevant, I find are providing that catastrophic worst case scenario, you know, this could, could happen under this not circumstance. Helpful. And that, not helpful. Not helpful. We need everybody to become helpful. Um, and there needs to be some agreement that discomfort is going to be a shared reality. Uh, there's no comfortable answer. There is no comfortable answer. And that's what people need to hear. And they aren't going to like it, and some will reject it, but uh, they're not going to be part of solving the problem. And when people reach out to you for help, what are you telling them? Telling them that we're paying attention to the problem, and we're trying to partner ourselves and try to encourage the insurance commissioner to come up with some kind of uh, solution so that uh, they are not dealing with these 300% uh, rates because it's not sustainable. And do they feel that enough is being done from no. the insurance department? They're all very frustrated, and justifiably so. Uh, we're we're not uh, we're not accomplishing our job uh, when when it comes to uh, finding real solutions uh, with this insurance problem because it's really not our job to find that solution. But we we need to be a, a partner in uh, facilitating something to happen that will allow this uh, very, very serious problem to be mitigated. And what do you view success as? Other than people being having something that's reasonable, how would you personally see that as being, uh, how would you see the mechanics of that happening? Improvement. Improvement in, uh, in the rate structure uh, and reasonableness and uh, not accumulating all these people that can't survive here, right? Competition is one of the, the metrics that will indicate whether or not uh, we have a reasonable standard here. And uh, because that's what really drives rates down. Supply and demand is a reality. It's a reality that has to be faced. And I think there's a way to do it. 
I, I agree with you. I'd love for you to give some contact information. How can people reach you if they're in your district or they want to reach out to you in general about anything we've talked about? What's the best way for them to get a hold of you? I know I'm going to want to be bugging you, but I know how to find you. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you work now. Let me give you my, uh, my two phone numbers. I have a capital office number, and it's uh, area code 916-319-2000. Three four, or we also have a uh, an email address uh, assembly member lackey at assembly dot ca dot gov, or if you're from my district and you want specific information that relates to the district region, uh, my phone number is six six one two six seven seven six three six, and the uh, email address there is uh, www dot assembly dot ca dot gov forward slash lackey. I think we're at a pivotal point for sure. And the leadership that we need has to step up and, and step up to the plate and not just step up, but swing and make contact at this point. Because like, like you said, there, there is nowhere else to go at this point where we are can't continue. And I, I appreciate you recognizing and I, I feel for you because I know that I know how helpless I feel and people aren't asking me to solve the problem, and you're being asked to solve a problem. So I feel for you that that cannot be a good feeling when you're having people that you represent reaching out and saying, I need help, and you're saying, not, there's nothing you can do directly. So I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful at this point that we'll be able to keep going in this direction, that we will see regulations change, and the next time we sit down and talk, Hopefully some things will change. We'll start to see carriers re-entering the market. I think that's a great barometer for success. Too. And there has been discussion already about that from some of the larger carriers that are supporting some of these changes. So if we can, if we can believe that and not look at it completely with a John decide, maybe just a little bit, then we can be a little optimistic for the future. Assemblyman Lackey, thank you so much for allowing me to spend this time with you. It's been very, very interesting for me. And I'm sure everyone who watched gained some knowledge as well. Well, I, I hope it was meaningful in some way. And uh, just know that we appreciate you bringing attention and being a, a source of communication because that's the only way we're going to solve this thing is by communicating one with another. But we need honest communication. Honesty. That's my takeaway. Thank you so much. Thank you. I do want to thank all of you for taking the time to listen today. I know insurance is not necessarily the most sexy concept. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. It is important that you understand what it is you're getting, what you should be looking for, red flags, you name it. You just need to know more than you used to. Things are more complicated than they used to be. If you have any questions, please reach out to me directly. You can email your questions to questions at insurancehour.com or call and leave a voicemail at 559 559- 656-0317. Educating and entertaining Californians one insurance policy at a time. This is Insurance Hour. The show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.